Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Greedfall. Last episode, we went and explored what we had left that we could explore here in Magasvar. Got through quite a bit of it. I don't remember exactly what we did, but I do remember that we weren't able to get up here for some reason. The only path in is completely blocked off and we can't get there any other way. So, all we got left here is down in here, where we do need to go in order to try and make things more peaceful. There's a whole bunch of people here. Village of Migulz... Vighulz... Vig... Mm. Hold on. Vighulzob. Is there actually a, uh... A change in the name for it? Let me see. Yes. This village is that of the clan of the Black Ulds. Its name also means the Black Ulds village in the native language. This isolationist clan lives in symbiosis with its tutelary animals, and even the other native clans are wary of their wild nature. Hmm. Okay. Seems these guys don't want to talk to me right now, but let's see what we can find in here. Nice little entryway. Let's see. Ooh, there's a skill point over there. I like that. Probably nothing over here. Nope. A nice day. Indeed. Uh, let's see. Onol Menawi. Okay, let's see that. And we earned a skill point. Can I use it anywhere? Mm, we have only one. We made our way all the way up there. I guess it not. It's oh. Stasis improving might actually be useful, especially the armor damage. That I like. That would actually be very useful. Um... I'll make my way to Corrosive Emanation, then I'll work on improving the pistol. Seems like a fair choice there. Okay. Now then... Door is right here. No. Oh wait, there's another path over here. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, that's actually nothing. Pretty sure there's going to be nothing. And I was right. At least there's a stone we can travel from. Alright. Do you have anything here we can loot? You do. Hey, loot is loot. Alright, let us speak. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Ask him about his village. What can you tell me about your village? Why would I talk to a Renike say about the Gugsob? All you need to know is that this name means the village of Black Ulgs. They are our friends and our companions, and like them, we do not like to be disturbed. I see. Anything else? Ah, uh, yes. The alliance with Ulan. Ulan, the king of Vignamri, wants to establish a trade agreement. 
and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaig Seng. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal. A proud man, not a slug. Oh the Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. A 100% chance of success. Try to take advantage of his pride. The Donea Exregal I have met were fearless. And yet you are running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Car. Not Freddy. The worst part is that you are right. We cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Fine. <laughs> I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordu. Okay. That worked out. I don't know how to talk to people. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaigze is so strong. Well, it worked out either way. I could have let you speak, but hey, I saw a 100% chance. So let's see. <coughs> let's go and inform him. We've explored everything else there is to explore in that territory. I know you have something to speak with me about. Ooh, uh, now that I think about it, I think we can sell a few things here. I want to sell that. Sell that. Keeping all those. Sell those two things. And these various items. Okay. That works. Now let's go. I do wonder where this location he speaks of is. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristal to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. And all I had to do I was threaten his pride. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lanristal means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. Bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Ulan is acting strangely. I do not trust him. We should go to Lan Ristal to make sure we're not being tricked. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. Perhaps so. Attend the negotiations in 5 hours, 59 minutes. Which is up there. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can skip this ahead a little bit. There's a camp just to the north. Let's see, we sleep, 4 hours 11 minutes, 5 hours 11 minutes, yeah, we'll do that, 30 minutes to get there, yeah, that's fine.
this way, we'll be able to get there in time. Right up there. Thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar Sedulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. Didn't see this you were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, on Almanawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. <sighs> I was so hopeful. Ulan, we are going to need to speak. Although, part of me wonders if it really was Ulan who did this. All I see are our own soldiers. Sorry, not our soldiers. The, uh, the bridge soldiers. None of the Ula none of Ulan's people. So, here's my question. Did Ulan agree to this? Did Ulan say, let us kill them so we no longer have to deal with them? Or did the Bridge Alliance choose to do this themselves? I'm hoping... <sighs> crude as this may be to say, I'm hoping that this was only the decision of the Bridge Alliance, and that Ulan really does want to try and get peace. But if this was actually Ulan trying to get rid of a rival clan so that he can get strength, and that was the entire reason for the peace. I mean, honestly, that's just classic colonialism in a way, isn't it? Get a tribe on your side by helping them defeat a rival tribe. Now I'm concerned. Ulan, we have to talk. Traitor! This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mortun was a Danaea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry, but I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger, but keep in mind that we are now at peace, thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri, and should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything I don't else? like this. The reward was left in the chest of your campfires and in your Disarte residence. Nothing. I must go. Well, we completed it. I really don't like how that went. Let's head to our camp. See what exactly what we happen to get from them. <sighs> then we'll probably speak with Vasco, because he has another quest for us, and I'm curious what it is. Okay. What have we got? T 
Tiern robe. Hmm. Would that work on Siora? It would. It would be a fair bit better. I'd say, Siora, you can wear it. In fact, if you don't mind, actually put it on. Yes, you're wearing a tracker's tunic. You're going to wear the Tiern robe. Oh, I did forgot I can sell the old embroidered doublet. Hold on a second. Oh, we're uh, yeah, we got the trackers to uh, tunic, sailor's coat, embroidered doublet. Wearing that. Did I sell things that I. <clears throat> no, I didn't. I just have them stored in here. Gather the companions. You appear to have something we need to speak of. Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? I'd say so. Yeah, let's take with care pleasure. of it now. Let's see what adventure she has in store for us. Mm. Should we take Siora or Kurt? Let's take Kurt. All right. We shall travel. Oh no. Uh, port quarter. No, we don't need the camp in the woods. Although, now that I think about it, I can sell a few things. I don't need this. And we can sell the tracker's tunic, I think. And the soldier's boots. And also the ring. There we go, and since I'm here, I can put a few things into the chest. Literally a few things. Okay. And we're at the port quarter, and she's right there. Desarde, what can I do for you? Allow Vasco to speak about the ordeal he wants to pass. Captain Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Did you profit from your time on land? I did, Admiral. That's why I've come to see you. You want me to entrust you with a loyalty mission? Indeed. Very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible sinking which fueled numerous rumors. We cannot let the land dwellers think we are losing the sea. So I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral, and with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island, not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco. Find the wreckage of the Oriflamme. Do you have anything Glad to say to about you, it, Vasco? Can I do anything for you? No. I must leave you. Then where is... Just to the west, when Shaganaw, the Singing Waters. Well, it is another region that we can explore, and we don't really have any other directions over here. 
So I guess heading in this direction towards Teleme might be the way to go. What do we have on these? Let's see. Can't do anything there. Not gonna go back in the arena. Someone did say in a comment that they waited until level 18 before they went back. That sounded like a bad idea. That's things everywhere. That's every location. And all we have are these two. Okay! So I think this seems like a fair thing that we can do. Uh, yeah, let's let's move on. We head to Wenshaganaw, the Singing Waters. Camp in the woods. Uh, I'm gonna take Kiora, Siora again, not Kiora, Kiara. <laughs> I like having her with us. She does some healing, which is nice. Okay. Ugh. When Shaganaw. Let's see what it has to say here. When Shaganaw is a coastal region crossed by a river. The co local inhabitants, very in touch with the sea and the water, named it the Singing Waters for this region. Reason. We have the thing. Spinning Tenlun. Spitting Tenlons get their name from their ability to shoot a stream of mucus at a distance whose powerful impact can cause injury. Hmm. Okay, so it's further that way in order to speak of the Malachor. This area seems a bit smaller. Down there is where we're going to need to go. Well, let's begin our explorations. That's quite a drop. Oh boy, that looks like it's gonna be a fight. Well, let's get some Okay! Uh my I see this I see the skulls. This is gonna be a painful one. Oh my god! Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh boy, I didn't see that coming. Okay, we need to be very careful there. Holy crap, those are strong. I didn't expect to get that hard hit that quickly. Let's just keep our distance from them for now and run along the road. Please tell me those aren't also... Okay, they are not. I'm just getting rid of their armor, make it easier to kill them. Okay. Those were much easier to deal with. easier. <sighs> it looks like there's a caravan over here. Yeah, I'm just going to, for now, follow the road. Once I uncover the road, I'll take a look down other paths. Oh. 
poison on my blade. Then let's go. Hello there. But it worked. That said, there appears to be something right here. Some sort of building. Town? Katasak's Kata abode. Hmm. We'll investigate that village or whatever it is later. Like I said, I'm going to explore the road, then take a look at areas off the road. What about doing stream reading? Stream. Hmm. Interesting thing there. Sorry, <laughs> someone mentioned something in the, uh, chat here, because I am streaming these! Those of you watching this on YouTube, just as a reminder, I stream. I've been streaming these recording sessions for a while. Do come give a watch if you wish. Okay, couple more of these to kill. Alright, just bash down their armor. Oh, I said bash down their armor. Well, that would get a lot. There we go. Oh. Finish him off. There we go. There we go. Too bad. Oh, I didn't want to speak with you. No, I didn't want to speak with you. That was... Not meant. Meant to loot. Ooh, there's something here. Itinerant Priest's Diary Page. Heading east towards New Serene, I heard some travelers talking about a treasure which they had hidden behind the lone tree on the cliff. I'm worried these people might be bandits and the famous treasure is the fruit of their looting. May the Enlightened come to my aid. Well, clearly the Enlightened did not come to their aid. This leads to the path out, which we may, as, we may as well uncover so that we see what the next region is, which will be nowhere? Oh no, San Mateus, all the way up to San Mateus immediately. Okay. Anyway, I am going to end this episode here. Oh, well done. Who's this? Oh. That's the, uh, that must be the Talaim citizen who is there. Well, we got a Talaim robe we can use for sneaking around. But anyway. Uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff. Contracts. Oh. That's going to be interesting. I'll investigate that next, I think. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chesuk44. That is Desardet, Vasco, and Soira. Soira? Siora. I keep getting her name wrong. This has been a let's play of Greedfall, and I shall see you all next time.